Alright, I am now home from running errands. I wonder what a sharp major is doing over there. Hey a sharp major, what are you doing? Hey F major, I have a table and an air conditioning unit in my car. Can you please help me carry them into my house? Sure. Which item should we carry first? I think we should start with the air conditioner. Later. Thanks for your help F major. You've been so helpful to me lately, and I've got something for you. It's a $50 Steam gift card. Really? Thank you. You're welcome. A sharp major is such a nice person. And she's cute too. I've had a crush on her for several years, but I haven't figured out how to ask her out yet. And I also don't want her to reject me. Well, it looks like I better ask someone for help. Hey F Sharp Major, I need your help. You know I have a crush on a Sharp Major, right? Yeah. But I've been wondering why you haven't asked her out yet. That's what I've came to you for. I don't know the best way to ask a girl out. And what if she rejects me? Well, if she rejects you, then you can look for another girl. Well, I did have a crush on someone named Penelope when I was a little boy. But I have no idea where she is now. I do have one suggestion for you. You can try buying her a bouquet of flowers. Do you know what kinds of flowers she likes? One time, she said that she likes roses. Well you can go to the store and buy roses for her. Alright then, I'll be back. After F Major arrived at the flower shop. Alright, so now I need to find the roses. Here are the roses. And there's a bouquet of roses. I hope she'll love these. We're now close to a sharp major's house. Well, here is the moment of truth. Please don't reject me, please don't reject me, please don't reject me. Hey again F major, come in. So, uh, why do you look nervous? And why do you have a bouquet of flowers? Oh, uh, I, uh, come on F major, just ask her out. Okay, here goes nothing. A sharp major, will you be my girlfriend? Um, sorry F major, I can't. What? Why? I already have a boyfriend, whose name is Brandon. By the way, He's been out of town for a few days, and he's planning to come back to Blotagon City today. How long has he been your boyfriend for? Oh, he asked me out about a week ago. A week ago? Yeah. Sorry F Major, but you might want to find another girl to be with. So, all this time, she's been with another man named Brandon? And I can't be with the girl I've been best friends with since I was 10 years old? What am I going to do now? Where am I going to find another girl to be with? So, what did she say? She said she already had a boyfriend. Really? Really? Don't feel sad F Major, you can always find another girl to be with. But where am I going to find another girl? Hum. Sorry F Major, but I don't know how to answer that question yet. Well, I'm going to my room then. Poor F Major. Hey F Sharp Major, do you know why F Major looks so sad? Well F Minor, he tried asking a Sharp Major out, but she already has a boyfriend. 
F major doesn't seem like a person that takes rejection lightly, especially if it's from someone that he really really likes. Oh. Poor F major. Hey, that reminds me, I still haven't asked out G minor yet. I might ask her out soon. Well, hopefully you won't end up like F major. Me too. Speaking of F major, I'm going to cheer him up. Why? Why did I take so long to ask a sharp major out? Why did I have to be so scared? Why did it take years for me to ask her out? I had several years to do that, but I chose to ask her out today. Ugh. E major has a girlfriend, D Lydian has a boyfriend, and I have no one. KF sharp major. F major, don't be sad. I'm sure you'll find another girl you'll want to be with eventually. But that's not going to be easy. I know, but you have to give it some time. I also had a few girls reject me, but I also went out with a few girls before. And let me tell you, not every girl you date is going to be loyal to you. One time, I had a girlfriend that turned out to be a gold digger, and she never loved me for who I was. She only wanted my money and that's it. So please be careful when you're looking for someone to go out with. Some girls may be mean to you. But one day, you'll find the girl that you'll really really want to be with. Just wait and see. Oh, and by the way, I'm currently single too. But I am still hopeful. So please cheer up and don't give up on your love life. You know what? You're right. I can look for another girl to be with. Thank you! F sharp major. Anytime F major. You know what? I think I'll get some coffee from Starbucks. Nothing like some nice warm coffee. Hi there. Hi! What's your name? My name is Charlie, but people call me F Major. What's yours? I'm Pam. Want to be friends? Sure! Yay! So how is your day so far? Well, it started off alright. However, when I found out that a girl that I had a crush on for several years was taken, I became really upset. So my brother decided to cheer me up, and now I feel better. I'm sure you'll find just the right girl one day. Yeah, but I just have to wait. So, as time went on, F Major kept hanging out with Pam, and Pam was really nice to him. About a week later, F Major started to develop feelings for her. Pam has been so nice to me lately. I think I have a crush on her now. But what if she rejects me like a sharp major did to me a week ago? I need to talk to F sharp major. F sharp major, remember when I told you about Pam? Yeah. Well, I now have a crush on her. However, I don't want her to reject me too. Well, if she rejects you, then you can just find another girl. Not every girl is gonna want to be with you. It's just the way it is. On the other hand, there are some who might want to be with you or ask you out first. Just wait and see. And Pam might be one of them. You had the courage to ask a sharp major out, so why not try that again with Pam? You're right. Let's do this. There you go. Maybe I should ask her to meet me somewhere first. Hey F major. What's up? Hey Pam, if you aren't busy right now, can you meet me at Bonnie's? Which one? How about the one on 28th and Jason? Sure, that'll be good. Great, I'll see you there. Alright. Alright Pam, here I come. Later. Alright, I'm here at Bonnie's.
Hey F Major, so glad you came. Yeah, I have a question for you. What is it? Will you be my girlfriend? Oh my goodness. I was thinking about asking you the same question too. Of course I will. Really? Yes. Oh my gosh, I finally have a girlfriend. Hey, um, you don't think I'm fat, do you? Nope, I don't really care about that. I still think you're cute just the way you are. Thank you. I really appreciate that. Hey F Sharp Major, I have some great news. Did Pam say yes? You bet she did. See? I told you you were gonna eventually find a girl that would want to be with you. Thank you so much for your help. You're welcome. <sighs> I'm so glad he has a girlfriend now. If he's happy, then I'm happy too. Shortly after F Major and Pam became boyfriend and girlfriend, they decide to go on a date. Alright F Sharp Major, me and Pam are going on a date tonight, and we're eating at Dylan's. I hope you and Pam have a great time. Thanks! I think we will. Alright Pam, are you ready to go to Dylan's? I sure am. Alright then, let's go. Later at Dylan's. Thank you for taking me here F Major, I love Dylan's. I love Dylan's too. But, there is something that I love more than Dylan's. What is that? Why you of course. Thanks Pam, you're the best. No, you the best. No, you are. No, you are. You are. You are. All right, let's stop now. Yeah. Hey, guess what? What? I bought two tickets for a concert. Oh, what concert? It's a surprise. Oh, well then, when is it? It's tonight at 10 p.m. Well, I haven't gone to a concert in a while. I hope this concert has good music. I'm sure it does. After finishing their food. Are you looking forward to the concert? Yeah, I sure am. Great. Alright, we're here. Are you ready to jam F major? Yes! There he is. Alright guys, are you ready to hear my song? Um, guys? Yeah, I'm ready to rock. All right, let's take it from the top. Take a crap, take a crap, take a nice big steamy crap. If I don't take a crap, I will kill myself. Taking a crap is fun to do, taking a crap makes me happy. But I can't because I am constipated, and I have hemorrhoids. Um, not trying to sound rude, but why did you decide to take us here out of all concerts? First of all, I love this song. And secondly, I thought you would like it too. Sorry, but I am really not a fan of the lyrics of this song. They're about taking a crap, and I don't know where he got the idea to come up with these lyrics. Also, I think I've seen this guy at a really crappy restaurant before. I think we should get out of here. F Major, I can't believe you didn't like that song. Well I can't believe you took us to that concert only for us to see someone perform a disgusting song. No offense. But you could have chose something better than that. Whatever. The next day. Don't you love taking a walk in the park? Yeah! It's a beautiful day, and walking is good exercise. Hi F Major. Hello Penelope, I want you to meet my... Whoa whoa whoa, are you cheating on me? What? No, I just wanted to introduce you to my friend Penelope. Yeah, you better not be cheating on me. Anyways, this is my girlfriend Pam. Hi Pam. Ugh, hello Penelope. Why are you looking at me like that? Oh, no reason. Um, alright then. Well, I hope you and your girlfriend have a nice day. You too. Are you sure you're not cheating on me? Yes I'm sure. 
Why would I ever cheat on you? That would be really mean. What's also mean is how you said hi to Penelope in a slightly angry tone. I thought you were cheating on me. You don't even have any proof that I was cheating on you. Now can you please be nice to Penelope next time? Alright. Good. It's around lunchtime. What do you feel like eating? I know another restaurant that you'll really love. What's the name of it? It's a surprise. I hope this is a good restaurant. I want you to put on this blindfold. Alright. Good, now don't take it off until we get to the restaurant. We're almost there, honey. Um, what's that smell? I don't know what you're talking about, but you can take off the blindfold now. Ta-da! Seriously, out of all restaurants you could have chosen, it had to be this one? Yeah, don't you love it? Nope, this restaurant is horrendous. What's wrong with it? There are lots of things wrong with this restaurant. First of all, this restaurant smells awful. Secondly, the cashier is literally the worst person in Plotagon City, which is a sharp ceramic, and of course he's super rude. Thirdly, the food here is abysmal. Fourthly, this restaurant is so dirty. And fifthly, the bathroom smells like human feces mixed with hot garbage. How can you love a restaurant like this? Can we eat at a restaurant that's much better than this like Bonnie's or something? <sighs> Welcome to my restaurant. What do you want from me? See what I mean, Pam? He's mad about us coming here for no reason. That's bad service. Can you guys order something already? No, I don't want to order anything from your stupid restaurant. Your food is atrocious. We're only here because my girlfriend brought us here for some reason. You know, your girlfriend looks kinda cute. Can I have her? No, she's my girlfriend and that's final. Why would my girlfriend want to be with a psycho? Come on Pam, we're never coming to this restaurant again. But... I said come on. Why didn't you want to eat at that restaurant? I already gave you 5 reasons why that restaurant sucks, and also, a sharp ceratic tried to steal you from me. Now, if you don't mind, I'm taking us to a much better restaurant with much better food and stuff. Welcome to Bonnie's, how can I help you? I would like to have. Hey, are you trying to cheat on me with the cashier? <sighs> no, I am not cheating on you. Are you gonna ask me this every time I interact with a female? Well yeah, if it looks like you're cheating on me. Well how am I going to order food if you won't let me interact with her? Oh, and by the way, she's already with C. Dorian Flat too, so it wouldn't make sense for me to ask her out even though I know she's with someone else already. Alright fine, you can order your food. But do not ever, and I mean ever, cheat on me with any woman. Sorry about that Wendy. But I would like two orders of pork ribs and two medium fries. Later. Isn't this restaurant much better than the one you picked? I guess. What do you mean you guess? Um. 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 You know what? Forget it. Let's just eat our food. Do you know what I want to do next? What is it? I was thinking about buying a PS5. I've been looking forward to buying one for several months. I don't know about that honey. They're selling out really fast, which means they may be hard to find. But we can go to GameStop to see if they have any PS5s. I'm sorry madam, but we're all out of PS5s. What? What do you mean you're out of PS5s? Well, lots of people also want the PS5, and they're selling out very quickly. So, you're either gonna have to buy something else here or go to another store to find a PS5. 
See what I'm talking about? Sometimes you gotta be early if you want to get something. But like he said, we can try finding a PS5 at another store. Do you want to do that? No, I don't have time to go to another store. I want a PS5 right now. Hey you, give me a PS5 right this instant. But madam, we're out of PS5s at the moment, and there's nothing I can do about that. I don't care about what you're saying. I think you're lying to me just so I wouldn't get a PS5. So give me a freaking PS5. Pam, stop arguing with the worker. If he says there are no PS5s, then you have no choice but to accept that. Now look around you, people are watching this right now because of you. Shut up F Major. I won't stop arguing with him until he gives me what I want. Right, that is it. Get in the car now. Pam, what was that all about? You embarrassed me at GameStop. I'm sorry about that F Major, but I really wanted a PS5. Once again, the worker clearly said that the store was out of PS5s. Did you really think arguing with the worker was going to get you a PS5? No, of course not. And you know what? Because of how you behaved at the store, I don't think you deserve a PS5 anymore. You're no longer a child and you should know better than to act that way. But, if you're gonna act like a child, then I might have to treat you like one if I have to. Or, I could break up with you and find another girlfriend. No. Please don't break up with me. Then grow the heck up. And by the way, I'm taking you back home. After F Major dropped off Pam and arrived at his house. So how was your day with Pam? Not so good. She accused me of cheating on her twice even though I wasn't doing that. She brought me to a crappy restaurant. A sharp ceratic even tried to steal her. And she even embarrassed me at GameStop by arguing with the worker over PS5. Really? Yeah! Well, I think you should break up with her if she keeps acting like this. Maybe you're right. The next day. Oh, hey guys. You might be wondering where me and Pam are going to next. Well, I'm actually on my way to a doctor's appointment since I have allergies. <laughs> See? Therefore, I'm gonna be busy for a while, and I hope Pam will understand that. Oh, it's Pam. Hello. Hey F Major, can we go shopping? I'm sorry Pam, but I'm at the hospital waiting for a doctor's appointment. <laughs> and I also have allergies. Please? Pam, I can't come right now. I'm at the hospital. Screw your appointment. Let's go shopping right now. If I don't show up for my appointment, then how am I going to treat my allergies? I don't care about your allergies, let's go shopping now. Ugh, no, I can't go shopping with you right now. Why can't you understand that? Because I want to go shopping. Well, if you want to go shopping so badly, then why don't you just go shopping without me? Because... Did he just hang up the phone on me? Why is she acting so weird? This is getting really annoying. F Major, you're next. That's me. After F Major finished his appointment. The doctor gave me some nasal spray, and my allergies are already getting better. Now that I'm done with my appointment, I'm gonna call Pam to see if she still wants to go shopping. What do you want? Do you still want to go shopping? Wait, really? Yeah, however, you'd better behave, okay? Okay, I will. You better. Alright Pam, are you ready to go? Actually F Major, I don't think I want to go shopping anymore. What? Why? You took way too long to come to my house. You should have came when you told me you had an appointment. And you also hung up the phone on me, which I didn't like. So you made me come over here all for nothing? I guess. Why didn't you tell me that you didn't want to go shopping when I called you? I don't know. Ugh, you know what? I'm going back home and not talking to you for the rest of the day. Thank you for wasting my time. You're welcome. F Major and Pam did not talk to each other until a few days later. Let's see what they're doing. 
Pam, we need to talk. What for? It's about our relationship. Oh no, you're not going to break up with me, are you? No, not yet, but our relationship is in jeopardy right now, do you know why? Why? Because I don't like the way you've been behaving lately. You've been acting like a child by accusing me of cheating on you twice, arguing with a worker at GameStop, and begging me to go shopping with you even though I had an appointment. And you made me come to your house only for you to tell me that you didn't want to go shopping anymore. I want for us to have a healthy relationship, not a dysfunctional one. I really need for you to stop acting like a spoiled brat. If not, then I'm gonna have to end my relationship with you. Do I make myself clear? Yeah, I'm sorry. I hope that's a sincere sorry. Welcome to Dylan's. How can I help you? I would like to. Seriously, F Major. You're trying to cheat on me again? Arg. No! For the last time, I am not freaking cheating on you. All I'm trying to do is order food from here, not look for other women to be with. Now stop accusing me of cheating on you. Seriously! Fine. 30 minutes later. Why do you look angry? Because they were taking way too long with our food. Oh great. Here we go again. Look, you have to be patient, okay? And you better not do anything stupid. I can hear the waiter approaching. Hey waiter, is that our food? No, this is for table 5. Well hurry up, you were taking too long with our food. Pam, you're embarrassing me again. Be patient. Yeah, you have to wait until your food finishes cooking. Do you want your food undercooked? Shut up and hurry up. Look, I don't have time for this nonsense. Just let me deliver this food to table 5. And I also don't want this stupid water. That is so IT, get out now. No, I still want my food. Are you freaking serious Pam? Out of all places, you had to get US kicked out of Dylan's? My favorite restaurant. They were taking too long with our food. That didn't mean you had to ACT like that, and why did you have to throw water AT the waiter? Because I didn't want IT. And why do restaurants give you stupid water anyway? Because that's what some restaurants in the United States usually do, minus the fast food restaurants. And by the way, you need to drink water every day since it's very important for your body to use, and you can't survive without IT. Seriously? Where are your manners? If you can't have good manners, then I think we need some time apart. Fine. Fine. Ugh, I can't stand Pam sometimes. I can't believe she just got me kicked out of my favorite restaurant. I mean, I can still go to another Dylan's, but seriously? The fact that she felt the need to throw a glass of water at the waiter is ridiculous, and I am this close to breaking up with her. Also, I know it's wrong to cheat on someone, but I feel like a sharp major would have been a much better girlfriend than Pam. So she threw a glass of water at the waiter and got you kicked out? Unfortunately, yeah. At this point, I think you should break up with her. Yeah, I think so too. I'll get it. Pam? What are you doing here? I have something to say to you. Well, I have something to say to you too. I want to break. Wait, I already had a feeling that you would want to break up with me, but before you do, I wanted to say I'm sorry for my behavior. Then can you explain to me why you were acting so immature? The reason why I did that was because I was in a bad mood lately. And why were you in a bad mood? It's because my sister stole lots of money from me shortly after we became boyfriend and girlfriend. After she saw a picture of me and you together, she disapproved of our relationship for some reason and did just that. You're not lying to me, are you? No, I wouldn't lie to my boyfriend, would I? Alright, that does not excuse you from acting like a spoiled brat, but I'll give you one more chance. But, if you blow it, then it's over. We will officially break up. Yay. Oh, I didn't know you were wearing a wig. I was afraid to show you my real hair, so I had to. Oh. Oh what? Oh no! What happened?
weapon to my disguise? A sharp ceratic? You were impersonating my girlfriend? <laughs> yeah, I sure was. I think I know what's going on here. You decided to dress up to look like Pam, and did insane things just so I could break up with her. What did you do with Pam? Actually, Pam isn't real. I was Pam this whole time. So I was dating a psychopath all along. Yeah, no, you must be lying. I saw you at that crappy restaurant when my girlfriend took me there. So how can you be Pam and be the cashier at the same time? Oh, that was a robot clone I made. I made the clone so you'd still think your girlfriend is real. Alright, so I'm going to bring you to my restaurant so you'll pretend to be me. And when you see F Major, I want you to be rude to him and try to steal his girlfriend so it'll tick him off. Here's a picture of him. Your wish is my command. The plan is to trick him into thinking his girlfriend is real when she's actually not. Got it. Great! I can't believe this. All this time, I never had a real girlfriend. Instead, I was tricked into dating the worst person in Plotagon City. There you are a sharp erratic. I have been looking for you for days. Where have you been all this time? Allow me to explain. After F Major finished explaining what happened. So not only did you cheat on me, but you also dressed up as a woman to catfish another man? <laughs> Correct! And, guess what? You're the 16th girl I've cheated on in the past 12 months. So you've cheated on 15 other women? Yes! In one year? Yes! <laughs> And as for you, F Major, you're the 8th guy I've catfished in the last 12 months. Wow! So you've catfished 7 other men? You're the biggest jerk ever. Face it, F Major, if a psychopath like me can trick 16 girls into dating me, while you can't even get one girl to date you, then that should say a lot about you. I don't think you'll ever find the right girl to be with, and I hope you won't. And as for you, Jenna, the fact that you were tricked into dating the most evil person in Plotagon City should embarrass you. I hope you lose all of your friends after they find out that you were dating me. In fact, I've already texted all of your friends telling them just that. You know what a sharp erratic? Cheating on me is one thing, catfishing F Major is another thing, but deliberately trying to make me lose my friends? That's IT, I am never talking to you again. Get lost you ugly evil psychopath WHO is a fatty. How about you get lost you stupid gullible woman? And I'm also not a fatty. Screw you. Screw you too. And screw you F Major. Go away! Oh, I will go away all right. <laughs> that was so fun to do. Now I have to figure out how I'm going to break the heart of a 17th woman. But before I cheat on another woman, I must sell that house that F Major thought was Pam's. Just when I thought I finally had a girlfriend, she turned out to be a disguise at a sharp ceratic maid. It's okay F Major, I think you'll be able to find a real girlfriend. I don't know about that Jenna. It's not easy finding just the right girl, and as you can see, I just got catfished by a psycho. And now, I'm feeling very pessimistic and heartbroken. Hey F Major, I've seen and heard everything, and I'm sorry that your girlfriend was never real to begin with. It's okay F Sharp Major. Thanks. Um, not to sound rude, but I want some time alone right now. We understand. Oh, and Jenna, I'll be your friend even if all your friends decide to cut ties with you, which I think is unlikely. Sounds great. <laughs> Well, here's the same park that we end. Pam? Went to. I guess I'll feel lonely for even longer since I'm still single. <laughs> Man, something seems off about that Pam person. I hope F Major is doing okay. 
<laughs> Speak of the devil. F major, why are you crying? <laughs> Remember how I tried to introduce you to Pam, and how she accused me of cheating on her? Did she cheat on you? No, she was only a disguise made by a sharp erratic. She was never real to begin with. Really? Yes, and now I'm all alone. I'm so sorry that happened to you. It's fine. You know what? Since you're here, then I think this would be a great time for me to tell you a story that I have been wanting to tell you for a while. If you didn't know, I had a crush on someone with the same name as you when I was in second grade. Wow, she is so cute. Um, who are you looking at? Oh, I'm looking at Penelope. I've had a crush on her for a few days. But I haven't figured out the best way to ask her out yet. Do you have any suggestions, C Major? Well, let me tell you this. Whenever you find the right time to ask her out, then do it. And try to do it with courage. Or, you can try sending a letter to her or giving her a flower. I hope this helps. You know, I think those are pretty good suggestions. Thank you, C Major. Anytime F Major. On that same day, my teacher assigned a group project, and she partnered me with Penelope, which I was excited about. And lastly, F Major, you will be partnered with Penelope. Yes. Hi F Major. Hello. So, what science project do you think we should do? I was thinking about doing an volcano project. How does that sound? Great. May I please have the baking powder? You know Penelope, I have been thinking about asking you something. What is it? While doing the project, I have decided to ask her out, and this is what she said. Penelope, will you be my girlfriend? Oh my gosh! I was thinking about asking you the same question too. Of course I will. Really? Yes! Oh my gosh! I finally have a girlfriend. And by the way, we did really well on our project. Congratulations F Major and Penelope, you both get an S grade for your project. Yes! Yes! You know what F Major? It was really fun working on the project with you, and I hope we'll get partnered again and again and again. I hope so too. So yes, we were boyfriend and girlfriend, and of course, we spent a lot of time together. We were together for a couple of years, until I received some really bad news from Penelope Ta towards the end of my fourth grade year. F Major, I have some really sad news. What is it? I don't think we'll ever see each other again. What? Why? My dad wants to move out of this city after the school year ends for business reasons. Is it there some other way we can communicate? Unfortunately, I don't think so. I'm sorry F Major, I really was not planning to tell you this, but it is what it is. I really enjoyed all the things we did together, but unfortunately, that's all coming to an end. I really enjoyed you too. Well, goodbye Penelope. Goodbye F Major. <laughs> so after that, she moved away and I never saw her again. However, I did get a new best friend after I turned 10, and her name is a sharp major. I did start to have feelings for her years later. I tried asking her out, but it was too late. She already had a boyfriend. You know, I also had a crush on a boy named Charlie when I was a little girl. And I did remember moving to a new school after finishing 4th grade. Wait a minute, Penelope. Charlie? Were you the same Penelope that was in my story? And were you the same Charlie I had a crush on? Is your last name Macmillan? It is. Oh my gosh! It really is you. I thought I would never see you again, but here you are now. Yeah, I've missed you so much. Do you want us to be together again? Of course I do.
Should we eat at Dylan's? Yeah, I love Dylan's. Thank you for taking us to Dylan's F major, but there's one thing that I love more than Dylan's. What is that? Why you of course. Thanks Penelope, you're the best. No, you're the best. No, you are. No, you are. You are. You are. All right, let's stop now. Yeah, I agree. Hey, do you want to go to a concert after we eat? It's not a Constipations concert, is it? What? No, it's an Alan Walker concert. Oh, thank God. Are you excited to see Alan Walker tonight? You bet I am. After they went to the concert. That concert was so awesome, Penelope. Thanks for taking us there. You're welcome. Hey, F Major, I have a question. Yes? Do you know who the Constipations are? I've heard about them at least several times, and people said that it's one of the worst bands in Plotagon City. Oh, they're infamous for making that song called Take a Crap. When a sharp erratic was disguised as Pam, he took me to a concert that involved that exact song. What are the lyrics? The song goes like this, Take a crap, take a crap, take a nice big steamy crap. If I don't take a crap, I will kill myself. Taking a crap is fun to do, taking a crap makes me happy. But I can't because I am constipated, and I have hemorrhoids. <laughs> now I see why that band is so hated. Those lyrics are so hilariously bad. Seriously, who thought it would be a good idea to come up with those lyrics? Probably that guy named Nate, since he is so obsessed with taking a crap. Hey F Sharp Major, guess who has a real girlfriend now? Already? Yes! Remember when I told you about my childhood crush? Well, that same girl came back, and here she is now. And she's not some dumb disguise made by a troublemaker. That's great. I am so happy for you F Major. Thank you! Alright F Major, it was fun hanging out with you, but I have to go. See you later! See you later! Now I don't have to worry about looking for someone to be with. Hey F minor. Why do you look so sad? I asked out G minor and she rejected me. She likes me as a friend, but not a boyfriend. F minor, take a seat. F minor, not everyone is gonna want to be with you. It's just the way it is. There's nothing wrong with you. You'll eventually find a girl that would want to be with you. You just have to give it some time. You're right F sharp major. Thank you. Anytime F minor. Also, I have something else to tell you. What is it? I'm coming out as bisexual. Do you accept me? Why of course I do. Hooray! Have you told anybody else in the family? Yes, I told F major, F sharp minor, and F Lydian, and they all accept me for who I am. Cool. So we're an LGBTQ affirming family. We sure are. Well, if you find a boyfriend or a girlfriend, please let me know. Okay. Huh, maybe I should start looking for a girlfriend too. <laughs> Hey guys, F Major's biggest fan here. Halfway through the final season of The Nope Keys, and I was thinking about doing something different for the series finale, but that's a topic for another video. Alright guys, that's all for now. Stay tuned for more episodes. See you later! <laughs>